In this video we're going to show you how to clean your Y and Z rails. First thing we're going to do is lay down some towels in the machine. We're going to be using WD-40 again to clean. The WD-40 really breaks up any dirt and dust that gets caked onto the rails. So first thing is we want to make sure your machine is off. It allows you to move the Y and Z trucks back and forth and up and down very easily. We're going to go ahead and take off what are called the wipers. There's four on the Z truck and there's four on the Y truck. I'm going to take them all off because we want to make sure that we clean in the grooves of the bearings as well. Y ones you can reach in from the bottom. And you can see how much dust and dirt gets caked onto the wipers themselves. And the wipers are actually making sure that your rails keep clean. So we'll also clean those. The two on the top of the wire are a little more tricky. Got to reach in behind. Pull them off. So now we've got the wipers off. We're going to go ahead and take our WD-40 and, and a paper towel. We're simply going to clean as good as we can the rails. So I'll push it all the way to the left. I'm just going to work it back and forth, back and forth. Make sure I get any of the caked on dust off. Same thing on the bottom side, on the Y. Back and forth, back and forth. Move the Y to the right, to the left hand side, top and bottom. Then we have a little trick here. The bearings have a groove in them that sit onto the rod. So we're going to take our rag, a little more WD-40 on the clean side, and we're going to put it right underneath the bearing, and then we're going to move the truck to the left. You got kind of a little bit of a feel here, but it jams that rag up into the bearing to clean the bearing as you move it along. So we're going to do that for both sides. So this is cleaning both the rail and the bearing at the same time. Go ahead and do it on the bottom. You can see on the rag that you're picking up even more dust than it did with the first wipe. Back and forth, back and forth. Now you've cleaned the Y rails. Go ahead and do the Z rails, very similar. Of course, they're much shorter. Go ahead and clean what we can with the truck down. You can't clean these too much. Then we're going to do the same thing we did on the Y rails, pushing the rag up into the slot of the bearing to clean the bearing at the same time we clean the rail. So now we've cleaned both the Y and the Z rails. We're going to go ahead and take our wipers. Get a new rag. Leave one dirty. And the important part of this is the little slots here at the bottom, which follow the bearing all the way along the rail and, and make sure that it keeps the dust off. So we just want to get in there, and make sure that each one of these is clean.
once each of these is clean, we're going to go ahead and snap them back on. Two trucks are easy to snap on just from the side. My trucks again, you can do from the bottom. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get the feel for this. So once we get the rails clean, the wipers cleaned and back on, we're going to take some 3-in-1 oil. We're going to just lay a little bit down on the rail. Not too much. You can actually take and put it on a rag too. Apply it on a rag. And leave a light coat all the way along the rails. That protects them from dust, also protects them from any rust and spot rust. At that point, you've cleaned and lubricated your Y and Z rails.